Hey, Christ United Kids, can you believe that Joseph got put in jail for making the right decision, for doing what he knew God called him to do, and he got thrown into jail? Well, today we're going to pick up on Joseph's story. We're going to read the very end of Genesis 39, and then we're going to move on to Genesis 40. So get your Bibles out, turn to Genesis 39. At the very end, in verse 20, it says, um, Joseph's master took him and put him in prison, the place where the king's prisoners were confined. But while Joseph was there in the prison, the Lord was with him. He showed him kindness and he granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. So the warden put Joseph in charge of all those held in the prison and he was made responsible for all that was done there. The warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success at whatever he did. So we are gonna stop right there just for a minute and think about this. Guys, something that was terrible, like being put in jail, God was still with Joseph. He was still working on him. He was still protecting him. He was still with him, giving him opportunities, and a situation that could have been awful, awful, awful. God made it okay. Joseph was taken care of, and he was taking care of other people. Check out what happens next in the story. Some time later, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt offended their master, the king of Egypt. Pharaoh was angry with his two officials, and so he put them in the custody in the house of the captain of the guard in the same prison where Joseph was confined. The captain of the guard assigned them to Joseph, and he attended them. After they had been in custody for some time, each of the two of them, the cupbearer and the baker, um, who were being held in prison, had a dream the same night and each dream had a meaning of its own. Do you guys remember the dream that Joseph had at the very beginning of his story? The stars and the wheat, that's gonna come at the end of Joseph's story. But right now there's another dream. When Joseph came to them the next morning, they, he saw that they were dejected, which just means they were super sad. So he asked them, um, why do you look so sad today? And they said, we both had dreams, but there was no one, there is no one to interpret them. And Joseph said, do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me your dreams. So they told Jesus, the, cup, the chief cupbearer told Joseph his dream. He said to them, in my dream, I saw a vine in front of me. And on the vine, there were three branches. As soon as it budded, it blossomed and the clusters ripened into grapes. Grapes. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand and I took the grapes, squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup and the cup in his hand and put the cup in his hand. Joseph said, this is what it means. The three branches are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift your head and restore to you your position. And you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand just as you did when you were his cupbearer. But when all goes well with you, remember me and show me kindness. Mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison. All right. Verse 16, the chief baker saw that Joseph had given a favorable interpretation. So he said to Joseph, I too had a dream. On my head were three baskets of bread on top. On the top baskets were all kinds of baked goods for Pharaoh, but the birds were eating them out of the basket on my head. This is what it means, said Joseph. The three baskets are three days, and within three days, Pharaoh will lift off your head and impale your body on a pole, and the birds will eat away at your flesh. Ugh, gross. Now, the third day was Pharaoh's birthday party, and he gave a feast for all of his officials. And guess what happened? Exactly what Joseph said would happen. Their dreams came true and Joseph had interpreted them because God was with him. Now, do you think that the cupbearer who was now in Pharaoh's care remembered him? Verse 23 says, the chief cupbearer, however, did not remember Joseph, he forgot him. And so Joseph still sat in jail, but God was still with him. God is with us no matter what is going on. And God was taking care of Joseph. And he was giving Joseph special jobs. And Joseph was finding favor in the warden's eyes. And he was still in a safe, good place. Guys, when things around us seem like they're going crazy and we don't even know what's going on, we need to remember that the God that was with Joseph is the same God that is with us that he loves us and cares for us so much and he wants the best for us. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, um, plans to give you hope and a future. Guys, God has an amazing plan for each of us. And even when things seem like 
it can't get any worse. I'm in prison. Or I have to stay at my house and I can't go to school and see all my friends anymore. God is with us and he wants us to know that he is always with us and he is going to work things out for good. All right, so let's pray and thank him for that. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for your word. God, we thank you for the story of Joseph and for the ups and the downs and the twists and the turns. And that no matter what's happening in Joseph's life, that you are always, always with him. God, we pray today that if we're scared or if we're confused or if we're angry or if we're upset about the things that are happening around us, that you will help us remember that you are with us and you are working all things out for our good. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys, tomorrow we're going to see an amazing part of, of Joseph's story. So I can't wait to see you tomorrow.